Welcome to the web tutorial NHAT sample weights and survey design variables. First, let's go over what you can expect to learn. We will first provide an overview of different types of weights in NHATS, followed by an explanation of survey design variables and examples of how to specify the design in both SAS and STATA. Let's begin with NHATS weights. The NHATS sample was drawn using a complex design oversampling individuals at older ages and black individuals. In addition, not all individuals eligible for the study responded, and some groups were more likely to respond than others. To take into account different probabilities of selection into NHATS and different probabilities of responding to NHATS, each NHATS participant has been assigned a weight for each round. To make inferences about older Medicare beneficiaries and not just the sample responding to NHATS, survey weights are needed. Let's take a look at the different types of weights provided. Three types of weights have been produced for each cohort of sample persons in each round. First, we have base weights, second, tracker weights, third, analytic weights. The base weights and the tracker weights are located on the tracker file, and the analytic weights are on the sample person file. For each type of weight, users have a full sample weight and a set of replicate weights. Each type of weight has a different purpose. The base weights account only for differential probabilities of selection. They may be helpful for analysts who wish to explore their own non-response adjustments. The tracker and analytic weights account for both differential probabilities of selection and non-response. The tracker and analytic weights are appropriate for making national estimates. The tracker weights and analytic weights allow inferences for different populations. The tracker weights represent the cohort of Medicare beneficiaries ages 65 and older who were alive on the sample date. Analytic weights are assigned to cases with a completed sample person interview, including those with a last month of life interview. These weights take into account non-response to the sample person interview by those with only a facility interview. Most often, analysts will want to use the analytic weights. Two types of these are available starting in 2015. The final analytic weights are provided every round and always represent a specific cross-sectional round or year of NHATS. The final analytic cohort weights are available starting in 2015, when the first replenishment sample was added. These weights allow the user to draw inferences about survivors from an earlier cohort. For each type of NHATS weight, two types have been produced, full sample weights and replicate weights. When Taylor series linearization estimation models are used, the full sample weights should be specified together with survey design variables. When replication methods such as the balanced repeated replication method are used, the replicate weights are specified. Note that the sample design variables are not needed with replicate methods. All weight variables in NHATS start with a W for weight, followed by a round number designated here on the screen with a pound sign. All full sample weights end in WGT0, and all replicate weights end in WGT followed by the values 1 to 56. The type of weight is highlighted in the middle. For instance, TRBAS is base weight on the tracker file. TRFIN is the tracker weight on the tracker file. ANFIN is the final analytic weight. And an N plus is the final analytic cohort weight, where the plus indicates an earlier cohort, in this case, 2011. Next, let's take a look at NHATS survey design variables. For analysts using the full sample weights, survey design variables should be specified to ensure that standard errors and other measures of precision are unbiased. Each round, two variables are included for this purpose. Far unit is the cluster variable indicating primary sampling unit or PSU, and var strat indicates the stratum from which the PSU was drawn. Let's take a look at an example of how to specify the design variables with a full sample final analytic weight. If a data user is using STATA, they should specify the SVY set command with the cluster variable, the weight of interest, followed by the stratum variable as shown here, replacing the pound signs with the round number. Then data users should specify the SVY procedures of interest. For SAS data users, they should first specify the procedure of interest. 
then include a weight statement, a cluster statement, and strata statement as shown here, followed by your model or other statement. For additional examples, see the NHATS technical paper, Accounting for Sample Design in NHATS and NSOC Analyses, Frequently Asked Questions, which is available from the NHATS website. This tutorial was produced by Men Hu, Sarah Patterson, and Vicki Friedman with funding from the National Institute on Aging. This ends the web tutorial NHATS Sample Weights and Design Variables. Comments and questions may be sent to nhatsdata at westat.com.